5G. So technology is evolving very quickly. And now with the virus that has been going around for quite some time now, it's raising a lot of fear and skepticism in the world. And there's a lot of rumors going around blaming 5G technology for a lot of the incidents that are going around the world right now. So in this video, I'm going to be going over everything there is to know about 5G technology. And I'm going to be giving you my take and my opinion on the main concerns going around. And I'm going to be giving you the reasons why. All right, so let's go. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be going over the main topics of 5G and all of the rumors going around just to kind of maybe help clear up some thoughts on these topics. So we're gonna quickly go over the major topics, which is does 5G cause cancer? Does 5G have anything to do with the coronavirus? We're gonna be talking about Microsoft's chip. Also, should you get a vaccine once it comes out? And we're gonna be talking about the overall purposes of 5G technology. So first off, we're gonna go over the purposes of 5G technology. So the purpose of 5G is basically to send and receive higher amounts of data at faster speeds. The reason and purpose for these higher speeds is for technology to continue advancing. Some of these purposes are going to be the revolution of self-driving vehicles so that they can all communicate with each other through 5G technology to avoid accidents. Another advancement that they're looking at is to be able to do remote surgical procedures, meaning a doctor can be at a certain location and a certain robot can be at a different location and through the 5g technology the doctor at the separate location can perform the surgical procedure on the patient which is at a completely separate physical location with the robot a couple other things that 5g technology may be used for is they're planning on placing cameras for identifying face id on everyone in streets worldwide and this is particularly starting in china and be able to have these cameras locate and identify individuals at such fast speeds 5G technology is needed. And another thing is for the microchips that businesses are creating for people that want to use them for the purpose of not having to take your wallet around anymore, keys, even your phone, and certain other technologies that will be created as time goes on. So this is pretty much just the beginning. These are just some of the things right now that companies are working on that will need 5G technology to be able to process all the demands at such high speeds. But now let's get into the rumors going around first i'm going to give you my opinion on does 5g cause cancer and my opinion on that is that no it does not so let me explain to you why to come up with a reasonable answer for this you have to look at the electromagnetic spectrum and that's a spectrum which pretty much organizes and identifies the frequency and radio waves of different devices so right now there is radiation everywhere we already have 4g technology everywhere even the sun emits radiation that's why it's called uv lights uv is a form of radiation and it is actually around the middle of the spectrum and radiation higher than that is cancer causing radiation meaning that it's ionizing radiation which means that it has the power to change cells however communication technology up until now like radios and cell phone data services like 1g then 2g 3g 4g and now 5g they're all non-ionizing radiation which means that it is non-cancer causing because it doesn't have enough radiation to change the cells the main concern now is that 5g technology because it is going to be a lot faster it has moved up in the electromagnetic spectrum a little bit from the previous ultra high frequency which is what 4g uses now 5g is going to be using super high and extra high frequency radiation wave and i know that sounds really bad but they're just the names that they're given on the electromagnetic spectrum but they are higher than the 4g technology but they are still not high enough to be considered ionizing radiation which is what causes cancer like i mentioned before there's radiation everywhere light bulbs have radiation this led light that i have that i'm shooting this video has radiation pretty much everything has some form of radiation and that's not bad it's just the higher the levels of radiation the higher it goes up that's when there's a concern raised and it can get to the point where it can be cancer causing but 5g technology is not high enough to be considered ionizing radiation however i do encourage you to do your own research you can get one of these things this is a electromagnetic radiation tester i actually have two of them that i bought them a long time ago to perform some radiation 
authentication tests on different cell phone and electronic devices. So you can get these and do your own testing. But I'm gonna go with what the research has shown because it makes sense to me. So I feel that 5G technology is something to be so afraid of and to believe that it's cancer causing. All right, so moving along. So next up, is 5G causing the coronavirus? My answer to this is no as well. It's my opinion. The reason why I don't think 5G is causing the coronavirus or has anything to do with it because people are saying that 5G is weakening the immune system and then it's easier to get the coronavirus. So the 5G radiation isn't powerful enough to penetrate through your skin or in that matter, uh, affect your immune system. So just because of that fact that it does not have the power to damage or weaken your immune system, there is no correlation between 5G and the coronavirus. And obviously the coronavirus is a bacteria and obviously 5G towers and 5G radiation is just radio waves. There's no bacteria being transmitted there. So in my opinion, that is out of the question. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the Microsoft chip that Bill Gates is working on with other companies. From my research, I have come to the conclusion that Bill Gates is talking about a way of identifying, you know, those who have been tested positive from the coronavirus and those who have been tested negative, but in nowhere does he ever say that it is a chip that is going to be implanted in the human body. So in my opinion, these are just rumors and information that has been manipulated to make it seem like, you know, Bill Gates is like behind all this and trying to c control the human population. But in fact, Bill Gates has had his own foundation for many years going around the world and working on vaccines for different diseases. And I believe as a good cause, I mean, the guy already has enough money and this is what he's been working on for years. So obviously he does have knowledge on the topic. Uh, and in my opinion, he's just working, trying to better the situation for everyone. Also about the vaccine, Bill Gates has talked a lot about the vaccine. And in my opinion, that is up to each and every individual to decide whether they want the vaccine or not. But the more and more I research about Bill Gates, I would say it's pretty safe to assume to get the vaccine done. I mean, like I said, the guy already has enough money. He has a foundation to help people around the world cure diseases. This is what he does. You know, there's some people saying that the vaccine will have a chip to control everyone and all of that. But the chip and the vaccine are two completely different things. So I just want everyone to have that clear in their mind. The vaccine will obviously be a liquid that will be injected into your body so that your white blood cells can know how to fight off the disease in the future. While the microchips that companies are installing in people around the world is something completely separate. And that's a technological advancement that you will also have the right to use it or not to use it. And the way I look at it now, pretty much your phone is a microchip in itself. You, you carry your phone around every single day everywhere. So if the government or anyone wanted to track you, they'd be doing it already. Your phone has GPS, it has cameras, it has voice recorders, it has everything on there either way. The only difference with that microchip being installed though is that you wouldn't have the option of leaving it behind. Your phone, you could just leave it behind whenever you want. Once that microchip is installed, it's gonna be in you until one day maybe you decide you don't want it anymore and then you have to have it removed. But that is the main difference. It is gonna be up to everyone to decide if they want the vaccine, if they want the microchips later on in the future, the way technology is headed. I'm pretty sure everyone is going to want to get the microchip as more and more benefits come out of it in the years to come. So we'll see what happens right now. My opinion is I don't want to install anything on myself right now at this moment, but we'll see as time goes on how the evolution of us humans continues. All right, everyone. So that was just a quick recap on my opinions on 5G and related rumors going around. So hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a like. It really helps my channel out a lot. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.